Hi everyone, welcome back to High School Science 101. Today I'm showing you some aspects of the Earth using this thing called an orbiter. But before we get started, there's something very important you need to know, and that's that the Earth and the Moon are nowhere near this big compared to the Sun in real life. This is not a scale model. And in fact, the Earth, if this was a scale model and the Sun was actually this big, the Earth would only be the size of this grain of rice. And this grain of rice would also be 20 meters away from this Sun. So it's not a scale model in terms of size, but it does allow us to understand some things like eclipses, the years, the days, and the seasons. And there's some of the things we're gonna talk about today. So let's get started. The first thing I wanna show you using this orbiter is the day-night cycle that we have on Earth. The Earth is rotating around the sun, but it's also rotating on its own axis, which means it's spinning on the spot. And the side of the Earth that's facing towards the Sun is experiencing daytime, and the side of the Earth that's facing away from the Sun is experiencing nighttime. The halfway point between the northern and the southern hemispheres is called the equator, and this receives the most direct sunlight from the Sun. And the countries that lie on the equator or near the equator receive the most direct sunlight and are therefore some of the hottest countries in the world. And this includes South America, this includes parts of Africa, and it also includes parts of Asia as well. And the North and South Poles don't receive this direct sunlight, and so those are obviously the coldest places on Earth. The Earth doing one complete spin on its own axis is one day, and while it's spinning on its own axis, it's also orbiting around the Sun, and it takes 365 days for it to do one complete journey around the Sun, and we call this a year. It actually takes a little bit longer than 365 days for us to make this journey around the sun, which is why every four years we add an extra day into our calendar and we call that year a leap year. I also want to talk about the seasons and the seasons are caused by the Earth's tilted axis. As you can see right now in this model, Australia is tilted towards the sun. And in fact, that whole southern hemisphere is tilted towards the sun. So that hemisphere is getting more direct sunlight and is therefore a bit warmer at this phase of the year than the northern hemisphere, which is tilted away from the sun. But as we move to different phases of the year and different seasons, you'll notice that the northern hemisphere ends up facing towards the sun. So that's experiencing more direct sunlight and warmer weather than the southern hemisphere, which is now tilted away from the sun and is experiencing winter and colder weather. The last thing that I haven't spoken about yet is the moon. The moon orbits the earth and it takes about 27 days for it to do one complete orbit. So every year, it does about 13 laps around the Earth. At night, we can see different parts of the Moon based on how much light is reaching it from the Sun. When the Moon passes between the Sun and the Earth, it casts a shadow on the Earth because it's blocking the sunlight from reaching that area. And if you're in that area, if you're in that shadow, you experience what's known as a solar eclipse, where the Moon is blocking all of the sunlight and you get temporary darkness. You can't really see it with this model but when the moon is behind the earth, enough light from the sun makes its way around the earth to light up this whole side of the moon that faces the earth. In that case, we call it a full moon. When the moon is directly behind the earth and in the earth's shadow, we call that a lunar eclipse. And we still see a full moon, but it's a bit darker. And sometimes we see it as a tinge of red. And in that case, we call it a blood moon. And that's it for today. Thank you for watching and thank you so much for all of your support so far. When I made this channel, I really just made it because I enjoy making these videos and I thought it would help some students out, but obviously it's helping a lot of other people out as well. So I really appreciate your support and I really appreciate your feedback. So keep enjoying it and I'll keep making these videos. See you next time.